what's up um today we're gonna be uh, creating a custom arcade expression for using a pop-up and we're gonna customize these on uh, using the arcade expression and right here we have a hosted feature here yeah, in my ActuS online organization and that's what I'm gonna go and open and um, we'll go to content and then we're gonna point to the overflow button and then go to configure um, you can see attribute expressions that's where we're going to add the expressions for the arcade or the HTML code that we're gonna create for each field and right here we are using the expression if is empty uh, we are looking for the particular fields these are the fields in my uh, layer and um, just specifically configured for the attribute or the fields that I want to see um, in my popper and I'm lighting the is empty so uh, this is how we are going to light it and everything that I think is important and I'm using it right here that's what I'm gonna gonna link it in the description so I'm going to the field groupers and then click on the field that is department agency and then that's gonna be null and then this is the name that I want to name the field in the popper the name that I want to show in the pop up, and I'm going to test and see how that comes out to be. Alright, so um, this kind of a tiresome uh, practice, I ended up creating all the uh, nine expressions for each field that I want to represent um, in the pop up, in the arcade expression pop up. So just doing it, repeating the same process on over and over again, but for different fields, giving them each name, uh, each expression, the name that I want to show in the pop-up. And uh, let's do it. So just as I said, um, it's very simple and anything that I've used uh, in this uh, tutorial video, I'm gonna link it in the description. So make sure to check on the description and uh, if you have any question, just uh, write it down here in the comments and uh, I'm gonna respond to you. Let's date and uh, can test it to see uh, if it has any errors and one thing that I want to let you know is that don't refresh this uh, instance in the browser and this is the expressions that I created for each field that I want to show in the pop-up you can see I had to make the nine of them it's kind of tiresome making expression for each of the field I suppose if you had a thousand fields and you wanted to show them all, that would be a lot of work. Alright, so next we'll create our HTML, which is a table which is simplified. Let's do it. As you can see, um, using each expression for uh, each pop-up field that I've just created in the uh, last few uh, minutes, as you've seen. So, uh, what this instantiates is that um, whenever we have a field that is now or brand, it, it's not gonna be shown, but. Uh, when the expression checks the field and sees that the field has some content to be displayed, it just does as it says. So, and you will see that in action in a few minutes from here. And uh, yeah, just as I said, if you have any question, just ping me down there, and uh, I'm gonna be there to respond to you.
And once you're done, um, make sure to save it. And we're gonna go ahead and copy it because we need to paste it in our um, pop-up configuration window. So that's what I'm gonna go to, uh, ahead and do. And I'm gonna save it, uh, copy it, and paste it in the custom. That's it. That's the table right there. Uh, you can see the HTML code that I just created. It's it's a table that shows everything that is light in there. So everything is included light in there. And please, if you have any question on these, uh, don't hesitate to let me know, and then I'm gonna be there to answer you. All right. Remember, I say you should not refresh the, uh, this uh, section here because when you do, it will lose everything that you've just configured at this moment. So be cautious. So I'm gonna go ahead and configure. So we have all our expressions, and if we refreshed, we wouldn't still be having them because refreshing erases everything that you have at the instance. So click on configure, and before then, you can just take off the fields that you don't want to show and um, I already did that and then um, I already have the fields that I want to show then once you've, um, you're satisfied with that you can go ahead and click configure and then uh, the instance of HTML and then remember we copied our HTML code this way we're gonna paste it then uh, if there is anything that we need to edit more here we can just do it at this instance but editing it in the uh, in the editor is the right thing so we have them here okay so uh, once we've done that we can click on ok then click in each one of the points and see you can see just showing the name of the county uh, that pop-up there is populated with quite some information and every one of them uh, will change depending on the information that it has uh, for the particular point. Now you can see, um, I mean, you can do even more. It's just the simple of them all that you can be able to achieve when you're doing such kind of editing. So that's a lie. You can see right there. But remember, we are still in the instance of a hosted feature area. And then uh, you can go back to the overflow button, configure, and uh, you, can, you can do a lot. You can achieve a lot with this. So uh, you can give your pop up a title based on a field, based on anything. Uh, just think of it, be diverse here. You can achieve even more. So click OK, and then uh, you can see the condition field display tile there is still there. Uh, I mean, is instantiated. Uh, next, now we will um, configure the pop-ups, and then we will have to save it as a new web map. So when we do that, it means uh, that our configurations will be preserved for the new map that we will create. Remember, I told you that you should not refresh the hosted feature area once you've configured everything because it loses uh, the configurations that you've done. So you should make sure that you save it as a new web map so that it carries over the configurations that you've set. So just setting it here, um, telling it the folder to save and then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Right, um, once it's saved, I'm gonna go to the specific place that I've saved it and then I'm gonna click it and make sure that my configurations are being shown as I had set them. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and check right now. Okay, sweet. Seems that it carried our configurations. All right, so at this moment, even if you refresh your hosted feature here, um, your web map still retains the configurations. At least that's one of the observations that I've made uh, when, I'm, uh, when I was doing this exercise. Uh, well, um, even if you decided to configure an application or do a web app builder, it still has the settings that you've 
uh, saved for the uh, new web map. Alright, thanks uh, and uh, if you got this up, consider subscribing.